So I really appreciate the uh, Minimax in, in Sydney and then also appreciate the dental bin. So today first patient, the 67 the old male patient, and then the upper right side first, and then lower right side, and lower left side. The upper right side, my initial twin plan is the crestal approach with the immediate placement, but sometime during the surgery, I want to check the initial stability and then relation with the sinus floor. So sometime treatment plan change the lateral window. So it depends on the bone density and the bone amount, the upper right side. So the incision design is uh, I want to try the conventional incision design, the trapezoidal flap from the mid crestal and then the vertical incision. Okay, I want to start the first patient. Some root rest. Usually, for a successful immediate placement, it requires careful tooth extraction first. Forcep. Okay. Okay. I will say, oh, open wide. This is my favorite retractor, Langenbeck retractor. Okay, incision design, first one, the crestal incision. Actually, this anterior bridge, it is from the CT scan and then just a 3D printer. I already made it and I delivered by the temporary setting. Usually for a easy flap elevation, the distal area, wide cutting is good. Like here, like here. And then the clavicular incision. And then for a vertical incision from the midpoint, just of the adjacent tools. Lingual flap, sometimes it's very hard to elevate. So insertion, the first elevate, and then just the lab action is okay, like this one. Much granulation tissue, the lingual side. Okay, I want to start the uh, granulant tissue remover, the surgical crepe.
I think the upper right side, no necessary. The lateral window, just the crystal is okay. Crystal. Wow, big root rest, one more. Clear the eye section, the tissue faucet. I have there. Ah, open. The lower right side, the lower right side, I will apply the one implant. So make uh, some occlusion. The, this the first molar area is okay. Okay, I will say, open, please. This is a very easy case. Okay, hold it, please. I will start the drilling. So this is the canine angulation. So you can make uh, some of the parallelism right here. So lingual is good. So this area. Open, I have sale. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, next one, 2.2, 10 millimeter. Okay, I will go. Ah, let's have a look. This area, residual bone maybe five or six millimeter. So at this time, bone is very soft bone. Just only five millimeter drilling. Next drill, 2.6. Still, 5 millimeter. For a crest approach, optimal diameter enlargement until around 3.5. So next step, 3.6. Okay, I want to check the science floor penetration or not. Okay, osteotomy now. Go, 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 this is 3.8. One malleting, one millimeter insertion. Very soft force. At the time, this the depth gauge is scratching the bone wall, scratching. Distal lingual bone wall. 
the labial bone wall, distal, medial here. Okay, not perforation yet. So very carefully, additional, right here. Very soft force. Okay. Next drill, 2.6, 10 millimeter. Some interference of the adjacent tools, so the, the drill extension. Four point five mm. Two ready. Next step, three point six. The bone density is very soft bone, maybe D three or D four bone. So one millimeter under drilling is better. Okay, first one, 4.5, 10 millimeter. Take a look, girl. Yes. You got bulk or? Bone is a little bit relatively hard. You go reverse mode. Ro, 잠깐만. It require additional drilling at the time. Just a take out here. And then I will try 4.0 drill. Yeah, okay. 4.0. Osteon 2 준비해 주시고 Osteon 콜라젠 있죠? Osteon 콜라젠 하나 주세요. Yeah. 아이 보세요. 음. 이거 전진이 안 되네. 모아 드릴링. 제가 할게요. Okay, next one, 4.5 drilling. Maybe no thread exposure. So at this time, just the uh, Osteon collagen is very good bone. Your talker, Monga Chocom is an ale. You fix your driver. I will say, Too high initial, reverse talk is better. Reverse talk. Maybe four times and then reinsertion.
Okay, let's evaluate this situation. This one, very thin bond, but no thread exposure, maybe one thread. So at this time, for a uh, rich preservation, so at this time, just the collagen, ostem collagen is square. So healing cap 준비해 주시고. Healing cap. 이거 잡아줄까? 음. 아, 여보세요? 4.5로 두개 주십시오. 이미디어트 플레이스먼 옵티멀 뎁스 컨트롤 프롬 더본 메이비 2mm 디퍼 리스크에 2mm 디퍼 so at the time the lingual margin labial margin level is different so at this time from the lingual wall 1mm 디퍼 is better healing cap I will say, oh. usually above 20 Newton initial stability above, I like the healing cap. There are many advantages at this time. Okay, next one. 아이브세요. 요거 잡아주고, 요거 잡아줘. 오케이. Okay. This is the osteum collagen. If thread exposure at this time, another bone first, and the sex sandwich technique is better, but very thin bone remaining around the implant the thread area, that is the osteum collagen is square. Is that line? This ostem collagen, no necessary, the membrane. After surgery, I will show you the result, the bone ostem collagen, the result, the several other cases. So at this time, a little bit over contouring. Just the collagen, collagen slightly covered the healing cap. And at this time, no membrane is okay. And then this area, just leave it, please. Because the no related with the implant. Before suture, usually you can try the flap approximation. This area, no tension releasing, no more vertical incision. So the flap closure is very easy at this time. Okay. First suture, with the vertical incision area, I like the anchor knot. So first one, from the buccal papillar. And then surround your natural tooth. And then re-entering out to the lingual side. It's a kind of sling suture, so the flap moving to the natural tooth area.
first knot tension. Two more. Two more, total five times here. Ah, you see? Ah, you just are out here, see? Just. As I noted before, the first lie patient is not difficult, so this is the very conventional immediate placement. The second implant, the gap distance is very small, so no require bone filler in the membrane, just only flap closure is okay. At this time, healing cap is very important. Healing cap. Tight coughing is a key point for the future around the healing care. Come on down. Okay, distal Y incision area, just also simply interrupted OR figure weight tie. I try the figure weight. Almost done, upper right side. You have to use a good needle holder.
Okay, finally, vertical incision. Okay, 아주 잘하고 계세요. Usually, vertical incision, 3 is 3 should choice good. From the mucongeval junction, below and superior, upper and lower. This is a gingival is very thin, so very careful, careful lead entering is necessary. Right here. 여기 실 하나만 더 주세요. 네, At this time, please make a one turn. Two turn is sometimes jeopardize this situation. One turn and then very careful tension here. And then reverse. Two more. Just the four is okay at this time. Put I only use the nylon, the monofilament, but sometimes the upper anterior, 5-0 is okay. Okay, Tension control is very important at this time. Very meticulous. Soft force is necessary. Final one. Usually after surgery, go please. I have there. Some press is good. Press. Dead space remover for uh, stable healing. Okay. I want to change the position. Next one, lower right side. Towel me to the sir. Okay. Lower right side, one root rest. Extraction first. So you have to check the adjacent tooth mobility. So the second primal is stable. So you can use that as a fulcrum. The second primal. 약간 왼쪽으로. 그렇지. Mosquito. This area, vertical bone height is very good. So same. I will apply the 4.5, 10 millimeter. So the immediate placement, incision time, highly varied because the sometimes incision first and then tooth extraction, or tooth extraction first and then incision. So it depends on the bone configuration. So just like this situation, extraction first is better. I have zero. Ah. Okay, the lung and back. Actually, the lower right side, the broadcasting is very difficult sometimes. Same. The distal end area. Why is she here? Why is she here? This is small kind of the maybe two millimeter wide incision is very helpful for the flap elevation without body cut incision. Without. So the full technique, maybe some the adhesion to the granulation tissue and then the soft tissue. 
So sometimes this kind of the undermining and the removal is better. Okay, you have to exp I can expose the total bond and then please check the lingual wall. Lingual wall is good. So at this time you check. Lingual full thickness flap is okay. Just the lingual lobe, okay? Lingual lobe pass away from here and then maybe third molar area, maybe two or three millimeter here and then drop down. This is the lingual flap, lingual knob. So for the prevention of the lingual lobe damage, the lingual area full flap elevation is okay. Full flap, you check here. Bone is very flat. Check the crystal model. This area no require GBR. So crystal flattening is better. If time will get Okay, I want to try crystal flattening. I was there, you get there, approach I got on with him. Okay. At this time, any kind of denture bar is okay. Denture bar. So remove the irregular crest. So make uh, some the dish shape. It's okay. And then, okay, let's start the drilling. Please hold. First drill, the dentium kit, initial the marking drill is the, the lens with the side cut drill function. So it's very useful drill design. So very easy control the angulation of open wide eye observe. So you make a same angulation and then like this motion. Just a five millimeter distalization. From here, right here. Okay, next one, 2.2 drill. Of course, I wanna check the angulation. Hmm? You go 2.2. You go. Okay. Open. I will say, oh, let me okay. This angulation. For a proper angulation, I want to use the extension drill. Drill extension. You can go. I wish you go. Okay, I want to check the angulation. Usually I use the drill. I will say. Okay. If salchak tamuro bose. Stop chunchani. Okay. This is the upper molar central fossa or palatal cusp. Slightly salchak tamuro chunchani. Chunchani tamuse. Okay. Desimida. Open eye. If I will say. Okay. Angulation is good. So I want to maintain the same angulation. Okay. Next drill. 3.6 right here next drill 4.0 I want to skip 4.0 4.5 directly I wish you go ja, 4.5 implant you say Okay, I will install the 4.5 to dentium implant. I will say, uh, open, ah. Uh. Uh, okay. 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 Okay.
no opposing tools. So I will try immediate loading here. So several days later, I will apply temporary crown here. There. Initial stability maybe around the 30 above. Too high, the reverse torque is good. Very, very good. And then reach reinsertion. This patient, the upper lower right side, I will try the immediate loading here because the no opposing jaw. So I want to skip the second surgery and then two piece of abutment. I will say, oh. Yogi, the torque wrench is made. Ah, it's done. This one, I will hold my hand. It's done. Later, I will control it. I think the, the keratinization is good, so some the excision is necessary, just the V-cutting. This for that. Okay, this area V-cutting is good, so slightly. This time margin first. Not beyond the mucosal junction. So sometime from the initial line, two millimeter is okay. The needle entering point. Uh. Okay, medial papilla area. I would say, oh, open wide. I really hope the second live surgery patient will be difficult. Okay, distal Y incision area, one more simple interruption. Okay, finish the lower right side. 
Okay, today final area, lower left side. Okay, now we're going to go back to the right side. Okay, now we're going to go back to the right side. 어, I think the this area big apical region. So so at this time extraction first. Two s f o r s e p Two two s f o r s e p f o r s e p 어. 아이 보세요. 고개 약간 오른쪽으로. 그렇죠? This area also. This a floating tooth almost. 미션 퍼스트 오른쪽 아주 잘하고 계세요. 와, very sufficient bone. Also, distal area, wine shin. Action. Here. Hold it, please. At this time, usually, severe inflammation area, flap elevation is sometimes very difficult. So at the time, holding here, tissue forcep, parasite elevator. So with a slight elevation with the margin, and then using the here, so you have to expose the bone, full thickness flap, full. With this manner, and then lingual flap also, retraction. The full technique here, and this the granulin tissue. Usually, I use the parasite elevator. The granulin tissue remover. When I, whenever I have a lecture for immediate placement, I got many questions. How degree? The tissue, tissue inflamed soft tissue remover. Just uh, I say, visible tissue removal is okay. Visible. You don't have to try invisible granulin tissue remover. Just the visible tissue is sufficient. Like here. 
just this is the sufficient strategy. This is also visible. Because the, this one, sometimes if you try the this guy curate, some the osteoprogenitor cell, same time remover. So only visible tissue right here. Visible tissue is okay. This is the first premolar, second premolar, first molar. This area too far from here to here. So I try here, second implant. And then this area, I try the GBR. This area. This implant, this implant. Just the 4.5 to 10 implant. Okay, let's start the drilling. Three extension. Three extension. 아까 있었는데. 티슈 포셉. 오케이. 오픈 아이 보세요. Every time this is the canine, and then this is the same angulation here. Right here, this manner. Okay, next one, 2.6, the long one. I have a This one, please, I want to collect this one. Collect. Next one, three point six. Open, I have a You can collect this bone. So lowering the RPM is good at this time. Okay, next one, 4.0. Ah, I have say Final drill, 4.5. Five. I have say Okay, once I want to finish the anterior implant, just the 4.5, 10, please. Aju charao gezeo. Good patient. Ne, check out keo. Hi, Mr. Ah. Ah, A little high. A little high initial. The self-threading power is very good. Reverse. We try. One more, we try. Reverse. Usually, the SLA surface, maximum two times. Reverse torque is good. Maybe optimal 20 or 25 is good. Okay, next one, second implant. First molar root area. 
또 콜라겐 멤브레인 준비하시고 아이 보세요 이렇게 This is the first premolar, second premolar, first molar, first molar, distal root area here. So you check the angulation of the lingual wall. Lingual wall angulation. Okay, lingual wall is uh, intact. So at this time, the normal angulation of the lower implant, this implant, uh, buccal root toe is good, buccal root toe. This is a no mountain implant, so for the make a good angulation, I want to insert it here. And then we did this is the guideline. I have to Ah, ah. The same angulation like here. Okay, I want to check. This angulation. Okay. Checking here. Holding, please. At this time, depth control a little bit difficult, but. 박 사장, 여기가 10mm인가? 여기가 두 번째가 10mm지. 10, 10이지. 아이 보세요. Open. Suction. Okay. Suction. At this time, your, your view to the adjacent marginal bone area. So 10 millimeter means this is the 10 millimeter guideline, not here. So this is real. For example, immediate placement is the same. At this time, this is the drill here. At the time, the 10 millimeter length is here. So this is the 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter. So repeated this section, we have to keep the this depth like here. I think the a little bit one millimeter deeper is better. One millimeter deep. Open, please. I say, oh, a little bit deep. Okay. This is the two point six, and then three point six. Same, same depths. Okay, this is the 10 millimeter. One millimeter more deeper. Okay, stop. Very good autogenous ball. Very good. Okay. Next Best step, 4.0. I think 4.0 drill is the final drill. I will say, oh. Because the, this is the very similar immediate placement, so under drilling is better. Okay, this is 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter, a little bit deeper. As you can see, this is the. Actually, this case require non resorbable membrane because this situation, city wall defect, buccal wall, major wall, a little bit distal wall. But today, I want to use the, just the, Resorbable membrane using the healing cap tenting technique here. Okay, so at this time, implant placement 4.5, 4.5, 10mm. Very good. Very good. Okay, I holding here. Okay, I will say, please con check the angle depths. Please. I will say, let's check the angulation one more time. Okay, angulation is almost uh, similar within the normal range here. Okay. 
잠깐만 이게 단다. Too high. This is too high initial stability. Implant removal and then more drilling. Okay, reverse. Right here, you can keep this implant to the kit. And then, more drilling, the 4.5. This is the 4.5. 4.3. This is 4.5. Okay. Okay. Redrilling. I have sale. Corrosion. Suction. Okay. Okay. Hello, I have got a question. I've got a question, doctor. Open, please. I'm there. I don't know what I'm saying. Ah, very good. Just that. Now I want to control by the torque wrench for the precise depths. There, yeah, okay. Tell me, just a yeah, I'm can you uh, can you hear me? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. sure. Uh, so, I my question is, in spite of re-drilling, why don't you use a bone tap? Like, uh, w what's the preference of re-drilling rather than using a bone tap and then going in again? Bone tap. Bone tap. Up. Bone tap. tap. Tapping. Yeah. Bone tapping. But uh, the the previously yeah. just. Uh, the external type of the implant, we, we routinely use the bone tap for the make a threading in the bone area. But usually nowadays, just the internal type of the bone level implant, we skip the tapping procedure because the external type of the implant, internal type of bone implant is different. So internal time, main purpose, main philosophy is without tapping procedure, just the self-threading power. So just the maybe 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 under preparation and then just self-threading preparation. Of course, yeah. as you mentioned, just a D1, very hard bone, sometimes even though full drilling, but still, initial stability is very high. At that time, we can try the bone tapping. Okay. But it's a very rare situation, so that means the additional drilling is okay. But usually nowadays, the internal type of the implant, usually no tap drill. So but sometimes very hard bone, you can try the tapping procedure. Right. That's right. Okay, thank you. I have there. Okay, let's check the depths. Trajong, one more question here. Okay. Can you hear me? Y yes, sure. The first implant you see that uh, slightly above the crystal height. Tapping? The first implant, you see that a little bit above the crystal bone. Uh -huh. Is there a reason for it? The first implant on the left side, premolar. The left side, this one. Uh, this one, yeah. left side. The f yeah. You uh, see that a little bit above the crystal bone. That's, that's right. So the this is dentium implant, the, be the supracrystal, the margin area is the, some the beveled area, the smooth surface. Actually, this, uh, this implant, a little bit deeper is better, a little deeper. So after I finish this one, I will try a little bit more deeper. Okay. So same level is better, same level. Okay. Right here, you mean you better here, right? Yeah, that's but right. But I think the initial is too high. Yeah, that's so what I thought, okay. Just uh, I expose the only machine, the beveled area. Yeah, thank you. Right. Open, I have sale. I will say, oh, OK. 
Okay, reverse top. A little lowering here. And then retry. So, this is the hill ridge area, and the immediate placement depth is different. So, immediate placement actually, from the marginal bone, two millimeter deeper is okay. But this area still, bone is very hard bone. So, this initial stability around the 20 or 30. So, at this time, just uh, I want to finish it like this state, just the depth. And then at this time, both of them healing cap. I will try. Healing cap is good to say. I will say, uh, Okay, I want to prep the membrane and the bone. 입 다물고 계세요. 시저 좀 줄까요? 아, 여보세요? 이 I will use the collagen membrane and autogenous bone and osteon too. So before use, just uh, make some hole, stabilized by the healing cap area, and soaking the cell in. Okay. Suction. Coach, please try coach. Okay, I have there. This is the osteon collagen, osteon two here. Okay, uh, elevator flap, just uh, the lung and back. I have there. Okay. Here, a little bit of here, suction. Okay, I'm going to thank you. This is Minnesota. Minnesota. Just to cover the exposed thread area is sufficient. And then this area, Jushin. Selling. GBR same time, the rich preservation. A little bit over controlling is better. Good. Jump on. 
and then anterior. Okay. Okay, next step is stabilizing. 여기다 놓고, 여기 가운데. 그렇지. Okay. This osteon 2 is the HA 30% and the beta TCP 70%. Very good, the BCP biphasic calcium phosphate. 이거 잡아줄까? 요로, 요거만 잡아줘. 그렇지. Okay, I will apply the collagen membrane. So I already make a hole here. This hole size great slightly smaller than the healing cap for the engaged uh, like this one. Over the healing cap, slightly smaller. And then lingual area insertion. At this time, I have say, oh. I don't waste anything. As you can see, at this time, maybe flap closure, it looks very difficult because the without vertical incision, so it's very difficult closure. That means it requires some the vertical incision here. Okay, number 15 blade. I will try some the base is broad, should be broad. Right here. And then tension releasing, just right here. Sometimes this method. Jushim, Jushim. Be careful. The mental lobe is very low area, very fortunately. The distal area. Jushim. This is the extraction socket. So flap closure sometimes very difficult. Yogi suction. Finally, I want to combine the open membrane technique here. So this is the collagen membrane. The resorption rate to usually six weeks. It's okay. Okay, I'll cover here. Push him. Shoot her. So, silk hana to hold you. Okay. First shoot her, horizontal mattress. This is the modified horizontal mattress. Yakan look at it. I will say. Suction through him. I will go. You go to the head. The lingual area, 6 mm deep. And then the buccal area, most deep, deep, deep. Only engage the peristium. At this time, the silk should press the membrane, like this manner. And the leak come out to the lingual side. Operation time, how much is it? Okay.
from now on. Most important step remain, just the shoe chair here. Okay, first shoe chair, horizontal matrix. Okay, this is the deep area stabilization. Next one, buccal from the buccal side, the vertical matrix. This is the vertical matrix. This is the aborting vertical matrix. I want tension free suture with the averting margin. Okay, this is the vertical matrix. Maybe it require three vertical matrix. And then intermediate one more here. Yes. Okay, retraction. Second vertical matrix here. This starting from the lingual. We come up to the vocal side. One more sick prepare, pr prepare please. Okay, this is the second vertical matrix. Okay, final vertical matrix, the most distal side. The remaining suture is the simply interrupted with the figure weight or crisscross for the membrane and then soft tissue stabilization. Okay, this is the final vertical matrix. Okay, almost done. Just uh, suturing here. John, yep. why the first one you use a modified horizontal matrix suture? Because the, this horizontal modified horizontal matrix not come out to the buccal side, not come out, so only inside the mm -hmm. peristem engagement. Mm -hmm. Because if you come out to the buccal and re-entering from the buccal means the silk is here. Yep. So that means from the food impact, food force delivered to the GBL area sometime. Okay. So I don't want to, to make some the consolidation of the GBL area. So the Inside only periods to engagement is better. Okay, next one. Still, this is the vertical incision, so I want to try also anchor knot here. And then Okay, from now on, just the only simple suturing. Okay, almost done.
Okay, antibiotic. First one, usually mucosal junction first. At the time of the body condition suturing, please be careful. Meticulous force control is necessary. Right here. And the lower side. This is the movable alveolar mucosa. Just a simple interrupt suture. Okay, final one. One more. Above the mucosal junction. Usually, body can issue an area, the needle holding like this one, straight here. And then at this time, insertion like this manner. Slightly penetration, and then you ungrab. And then you can feel the needle curvature, and then come out here. Next one, very careful, initial knot. Careful tension control. We do this one, second. Third here. Okay, next one only almost simple interrupt suture. I was here. Okay, I want to increase the speed of the suturing. Okay. Ah, 괜찮아. 전혀 문제 없어. 그 위로 서피 수출할 때. Just uh, this is the extraction area, but because of the vertical incision, because of the tangent linear incision, I can get almost a flap closure, full flap. So the flap control at this time. Maybe three or four is sufficient for a final closure. I would say oh should kinda do it. Okay, after surgery and take a Panoramic view in the city, we will discuss one more time. Maybe two suture is okay. I just had a good job. Very good patient. The distal implant, distal area, one more suture. At this time, the silk press the gum, the mobile gum area, like here. Oh my god.
At the time of the first turn, you press the gum here, like this one. Okay, final suture on the Y incision area. I will say, oh. I don't like this one. I don't like it. One more suture. With this one, without this one, at the time of second surgery, result is different here. So like here, just the cutting here. Number 15. Number 12 is okay. This right here. Number 12 is okay. Number 13. Number 13. Okay, very careful tension. Okay. One more. This area, lingual sign here. Just only stabilization, not full approximation. Here. And then surrounding the healing cap, like this manner. Okay. It's okay. Make a good knot, always. Finish. OK, I want to check the surgical area. OK, lower left side, lower right side, upper right side. OK, let's check. Long and back. OK, let's check. Light and match. Okay, it's very clean. Upper right side. And then lower right side. Lower left side. Yeah. Okay, thank you everyone. Okay, after after Kambim City and then Panorite View, we discuss one more time. Sugo Mani Ajasumida. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, finish.